Hi friends, I hope that all of you had a great long weekend and that you're having a good week so far. I'm still really missing seeing all of you at school. I had lots of fun last week doing the crab drawing with you, so I thought today we would do another underwater creature that sometimes we do get to find on the beach here in Campbell River. So today we're going to do a jellyfish underwater. The materials that you need to use today are a pencil, a piece of paper, and some coloring materials. So you can go and grab what you need, see if you, anyone else in your house would like to join along with us, and come on back. So your first step today, you're going to decide what direction you would like your paper to face. I've got mine facing this way because my jellyfish is going to be short and wide, but if you want it to be a long, tall, stretched out, skinny jellyfish, you may want to turn your page the other direction. And our first step with our pencil, we're going to, on the top half of the page, draw a big semicircle. So I'll start with an upside down letter U stretched out, like the top of an umbrella. And then we're going to join these two parts to close off the semicircle. But your line doesn't have to be perfectly straight. It can be a little bit wavy if you like. Next, underneath here, we're going to do one line, just about a finger space in from the side. One line that kind of points out towards the edge and the same thing at this side. All right, then we're going to connect these two short lines with a wavy line. You can decide how wavy you would like yours to be. I've been reading about jellyfish today because I didn't know much about them. This top part here is called the bell. And then this part that you see underneath some of them is just a muscle that they use to help them swim. Next, we're going to start their tentacles. I also learned something new today that not all jellyfish have the same amount of tentacles. They can have up to 15, but some of them have less. So you decide how many you'd like and you can see I'm just doing them like long stretched out pieces of spaghetti. So fill in your tentacles as many as you'd like. When I'm all finished, we can count together and see how many I have. And I'm curious when you're done, if your jellyfish will have more or less tentacles than mine. I think I will do one more there. All right, let's count and see how many I have. Let's count by twos today. Two, four, six, plus one more equals seven. Okay, now on this muscle here underneath the bell, we're just going to Fill it in with lines going down all the way across because if you look close up at a real jellyfish, they often have these kind of lines going across. So we'll fill those in. And my next step, this part isn't as realistic, but I want it to be a happy jellyfish. So I'm going to add some eyes and a little happy smile like that. Now I'm going to add a couple details in the background that are just some things that sometimes we see underneath the ocean. So you can decide what you'd like to add. I'm going to do some tall, skinny seagrass here. Kind of a curve. It's almost like a flame and a fire. See how it comes to a point? Then I'll go back down following the same direction as the other side. I'm also going to add some bubbles in the water. Often there's little bubbles underwater just from all of the life under there. So I'll do some circles of different sizes. When I do bubbles, I like to add a little curved line in the corner. And that just kind of makes them look a little bit shiny or a bit more realistic. So fill it in. Maybe you'd even like to do some fish or other ocean creatures under there with your jellyfish. Let's count how many bubbles I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I have a connection. I'm wondering if you noticed. What do you think? Yes, the jellyfish had seven tentacles and I made seven bubbles. That was a neat coincidence. 
here is what my jellyfish looks like after I've colored. So you can see for the bell at the top, I've chosen a turquoisey blue and a magenta pinkish purple color for the muscle. The tentacles I've done purple. I chose bright green for the grass and blue for the bubbles. Jellyfish come in all sorts of different colors, so you can choose what colors you would like yours to be. I hope you enjoyed making the picture today. If you would like, you can ask your grown-ups to take a photo of yours and send it to me. Tomorrow, we will have another class meeting. And just a reminder that we're now using Zoom instead of Teams. So I've got included the link to our class chat in the email so that your grown-ups can log on for you at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. We're going to do a fun activity during our chat, so hopefully we see lots of you there. Bye.